Hi, Jonathan Perkins and Joe Bolte here today. We're with Bex Hybrids. I'm the PFR location lead and agronomist here at our Southern Illinois site, and Joe's our operator here. So we're with you today, and we just came back out of the fields, Joe. We just got done planting the planting date entry on corn and soybeans. So we're out here to show you what we did a little bit today uh, with some of the footage that we took while we were planting, but more importantly, too, to talk to you about what we're doing with this PFR report and discussing planting dates and what the point of this study is. So in the past, when we've talked about planting dates, you know, definitely the past few years, we've been wet, Joe, to say the least, right? So it's been tough to get out here and get in, but our data does show that the early part of April, in fact, from April basically 1st through the 30th, shows across the board at our multiple sites that that is our optimum planting date window on corn and soybeans. Soybeans tend to shade a little bit later, but more in that April window too. So we got our first date entry in. Today is March 24th, Friday the 24th. Uh, usually we're not getting dates in this early. Last year we got one in on the 23rd and we were a little bit less than ideal putting it in. Uh, we waited for the right seed bed conditions. Had crumble, but it was still plenty moist and on the heavier side. So this this year things went in great though and uh, one of the things that we noticed from the the ground was that the soil was actually crumbling nicely we had good moisture underneath nothing too wet nothing too heavy uh, but the surface was actually kicking up a little bit of dust so you know when we've had conditions leading us into this uh, of a pretty mild winter and not as much rainfall or snowfall it's led to this so we're going to touch on that a little bit and Joe's going to walk you through basically what he saw from the cab too and his experience in planning these date entries that we'll show you today. The so. day before we did have what not quite a tenth an inch of rain yesterday uh, so we went ahead we went out and we busted the ground open with the Salford. Um, we did have a little bit of moisture so we just wanted to bust the ground open to let it dry overnight. You want to talk about perfect conditions. I, you know, the past few years to find the conditions that we had today to go out there and plant, you know, everything worked perfect. You know, typically when we talk about March, we're looking at, you know, soil temperature, but also it's hard to find conditions where we can actually not struggle to close the, the seed trench. And today things went perfect on closing the seed trench. Um, we had over 60 degree soil temperature. So we had the soil temperature there. We had the crumble. We did have a little bit of moisture to help get things going. But from the planter standpoint, you know, the closing wheels were able to close the, the trench nicely, um, which is rare for, like I said, for this time of the year. And you know, I could go probably back to 2012 to maybe find a March that was this ideal to plant in conditions like we had today. Absolutely. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that input. Uh, Joe mentioned the soil temps, and we measured at the 2-inch depth and the 4-inch depth, reading from our weather station with that. So with the 2-inch depth, Joe mentioned in the 60s, we were actually at 62 degrees at the time of soybean planting, and at corn planting, we were at 66 degrees in the 2-inch depth. So 53 and 54 degrees on 4-inch soil temps. Uh, again, like Joe said, great for this time of year. We don't always get that kind of weather. So who knows what the future holds for this for the 2017 season. So we're really looking for forward to this and uh, you know basically we talked through earlier about the study and why we do it to continue seeing what the optimum date ranges are for farmers not only ourselves with our data but to help you guys out there in the field and deciding when it's best if seedbed conditions are good and looking at the weather forecast too so touching on the last point of that is weather forecast and what we have in store for us uh, talking about some moisture maybe in the next week so you know we're hoping that this seed gets off to a good start with these kind of soil temps that we have adequate moisture there and uh, before we get into any kind of adverse conditions that may affect our germination and emergence. So uh, that's the third bullet point there for us today. Uh, again, in summary, we're out here today just talking about some of our past data a little bit and letting you share that, that information, um, uh, know that information that we have, uh, talking about what we saw out here today planting, and then lastly, you know, the, the conditions that are there coming forward in the future because we don't always want to put our chances out there of putting out the seed right before a storm or something that may cause adverse conditions on a normal basis. So stay tuned with us. Uh, we'll see what that holds for us throughout the 17 season. And thanks for this PFR report today.